Hey guys, what's going on? Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs. And in today's brief video, I wanna talk to you guys about relapse. And more specifically, I wanna talk about how you can avoid relapsing on nicotine, weed, THC, pornography, whatever the addiction is, after you have quit for a period of time. So often people will reach out to our offices and say, hey, listen, Dr. Frank, I quit vaping for three months, four months, a year, but I relapsed. Why did this happen and how can I prevent this from happening again? Here at Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching, we help people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. So if you've watched my videos before, you know one of the first things I ask you to do when you quit smoking or you quit vaping or whatever the addiction is, is I ask you to write down your top seven reasons for quitting. Another thing that I ask you to do is to write down all of the benefits that you're getting when you quit this addiction. So let's say you quit vaping and you notice, hey, I have more money in my bank account. Hey, I'm breathing better. Hey, I have more motivation. Hey, I'm waking up easier in the morning. My circulation is improving, which is improving my workout recovery. My relationships are getting better. I have more free time. I could go on and on about the benefits. But I ask you to make a list, top seven reasons why you wanna quit, and then I ask you to keep an ongoing list of all of the benefits that you're receiving since you've quit this addiction. Now that's super important because in the first few days when you quit vaping, when you quit smoking weed, whatever it is, that addiction is on your mind. You're thinking about it a lot. So you get a craving to vape and you're saying to yourself, no, I don't want to hit my vape because X, Y, and Z. I know it's bad for me. I know it's ruining my money. I know it's ruining my motivation, my mental health, whatever it is. It's giving me more anxiety. It's on your mind a lot for those first two weeks for that first month. But then something happens. Over time, you start to think about that addiction less and less. And yes, ultimately, this is a really good thing. I want you to forget that you smoked. I want you to forget that you vaped. I want you to forget that you were addicted to porn, of course. But over time, you think about that addiction less and less. And what happens is here you are a year out and boom, you get that random craving. You get that random thought of use and your guard is down. You're caught off guard. And what occurs is you don't have those thoughts of, oh, I quit because of X, Y, and Z. Oh, I've had all of these benefits because I quit over the last year. You get a craving and suddenly you think, I'm gonna go get some nicotine. This time it won't be that bad. Or, oh, I can just do this once real quick. It's no big deal. Or maybe you're sold on another nicotine product. Like you quit smoking or you quit chewing tobacco, but now you vape. Or you quit chewing tobacco and now you use ZY, ZYN pouches, Zen pouches. You got sold on a different product that was really just the same drug. So I tell people you let your guard down. And letting your guard down is a major problem. One of the ways to, to not let your guard down or to, or to prevent relapse in the future is by keeping that list of the reasons why you quit somewhere close by. Maybe it can be in the notes section on your phone. But more importantly than that list is writing out the benefits and the continued benefits as to why you quit smoking, why you quit vaping, why you quit drinking. Because then it's continually just somewhere on the back of your mind. A lot of people who are involved in AA programs or NA programs, they continue to go to meetings even years after they've stopped drinking. Addiction, unfortunately, is a lifelong disease. Now, here at Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching, I tell you, you can get addicted to whatever you wanna get addicted to in life. And when we work with clients here, we help them develop a plan to get addicted to things that they actually care about in life and how to pursue those things, because that's a good addiction. Um, the, but 
it what happens is so many people get caught off guard they don't they forget about all the benefits they forget about all of the negatives of that addiction and then they go right back to it when people are in a program like AA or NA or even when people continue to watch this channel months or weeks or years after they quit vaping after they quit smoking they're constantly reminded of the reasons why they quit I tell people it's no different from a diet program. How many people have you known that have eaten super healthy and then all of a sudden it's like they forgot how to eat healthy. They forgot why they lost all of that weight. Suddenly they start eating crappy again and that weight comes back out of nowhere. They were no longer being accountable to themselves or they dropped out of the program that was holding them accountable. So this is a great way to keep yourself accountable. Now, I do this through something called the High Performance Planner. You can see that in the split screen here. This planner allows me to write out my daily affirmations, my daily goals, and all the things I need to do to constantly stay focused on achieving those goals. I know this sounds like some motivational guru stuff, and it kind of is, but I'm telling you guys it goes a really long way, and I attribute that to a lot of my sobriety and ongoing sobriety. I guess you could argue for me because I talk about this stuff all the time, I'm constantly on guard. And that's not how you guys have to live your lives, but I do think implementing these simple techniques in and understanding why relapse happens a year out, six months out, three months out into someone's quitting journey can help you prevent that from happening in the future. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope it helps you identify some mistakes that may have led to relapse in the past. And I hope going forward, it doesn't happen again. If you need help with the development of a more long-term plan for your sobriety and recovery process from nicotine, weed, alcohol, porn, feel free to contact our offices and review pricing with us. We're happy to help. Okay, guys, follow me into the next video where I talk more about that planner that I use to stay sober and enjoy the best recovery process possible. I'll see you guys there.